Hey guys, alright, so if you haven't noticed lately, I have been loving bright lips and I've been rocking it a lot um, in my videos lately. I went to MAC and I bought like so many bright lipstick shades and I think I'm going to do a favorite lip products video and then include some of my favorite lipsticks, my lip glosses, my lip treatments, all that stuff. Tell me if you guys are like this. I feel like I'm not fully dressed up and fully ready for a night out if I just have like a plain pink or a nude on my lips. I need like a purple or an orange or a red. You know what I mean? And it's a little bit more of a hassle now to get ready, but... What can you do? I just think bright lips, or more specifically red lips, are so classy and so elegant. It just makes your makeup look like you're a movie star, basically. And I think that blondes... Okay, well, anyone can really pull off a red lip. Seriously, anyone, no matter what skin color, eye color, hair color. I think it looks amazing. You just have to find the right red. But I do think, deep down in my heart, blondes do it better. Jokes, jokes. Or am I? I realized that I have never done a perfect red lip tutorial and it can really go for any shade of color but I think that red is just the one that people would want to watch and want to know how to do the best. You get what I'm saying, right? You can put any lipstick in this tutorial. Anyways, but yes, before I ramble any longer, this is like a bring it on cheer I just did. Yeah! And that was not a bring it on cheer. Let's get right into the tutorial of how to do the perfect red lip. So obviously if you are doing a bold lip, especially red, you want your lips to be smooth and nice and not cracked or anything nasty like that. So use a really, really nice lip balm. I'm using Nivea, but you could use something better like Burt's Bees. I just didn't have it at the moment. Let that dry. And now we're going to be moving on to a lip primer, which is very, very similar to an eye primer. Honestly, in many ways, like the color is the same, the texture is the same, and this is just going to help to nude the lips completely out. So it'll give you like a really nice canvas and a really nice base um, to put the red lipstick on top of. This one is by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to dab that into my lips as you can see and they were already pretty nude because I put my foundation over top of them uh, but this just nudes them completely out which is what you want when doing red lipstick. So this is my ultimate favorite shade of MAC red lipstick called Ruby Woo and it is a matte shade and I love this color on my skin and I think that it works for a lot of other skin tones too. As you can see it's kind of like a deep red and the fact that it's matte just makes it so much more pretty to me. I love matte red lips. It's like almost a turn on. <laughs> How I'm going to get started on the lips is I'm just going to start by defining the cupid's bow. As you see I've done the little V in the middle and then work it down the side and what I really like to do with red lipstick since it's so pigmented is try to work it down onto the bottom lip. As you see I'm trying to press it. Matte lipstick doesn't really transfer as well as like a satin lipstick or you know what I mean a frost lipstick or anything like that but just do your best and try to press it just so you can like conserve some product there. Um, you see it's like working more and obviously with a harsh color like this you're going to want to try to keep in the lines be as neat as possible we will go in later and try to fix it up and clean it up and stuff like that but just pretend there is no such thing as lip liner and you're doing this all freehand and do not forget the corners of your mouth it will wear away through like throughout the day and stuff like that but I mean when you're doing it from the top get it done girl but despite my best efforts they are not 100% perfect they're a little bit rough around the edges so I would recommend two lip liners for you guys they are by Mac and one is named red the one I'm pointing at right now and the bottom one is cherry which is a little bit too harsh I would say it would look a little bit chola ish with this kind of lipstick it would work more with like a Russian red oh and brownie points if you guys can guess which song I'm lip syncing to right now it's a popular one on the radio <laughs> so just take your time trying to make the lips look as perfect as possible obviously and as you can see the lip liner has already smoothed out the bottom part of my lips that were looking a little rough to be honest um, lip liner is seriously a dream and at this point in the process if you'd want to over line your lips you do so now just go a little bit over where you put the lipstick still on your lips you don't want to go too much over your skin um, or else it'll look fake obviously but this will give you a really nice natural look now a lot of the time concealer is like a fan favorite I guess you could say when using red lipstick to lock in the lips to make sure that they last all day but I'm gonna be using a powder for many reasons my lipstick is matte the lip liner is already keeping such a good job to help my lipstick to not feather throughout the day um, and my skin is already powdered so it's gonna match in with the skin. So just finish up going around the perimeter of your lips with the powder. I'm bringing some like math terminology into this tutorial. And you are done. Now you just put in all this work to get this gorgeous red lip. You are going to bring your red lipstick and your red lip liner with you throughout the day. Do not make me come get you bitches. Okay, so that is all for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you learned something, and I hope you rock those red lips wherever you go now. I know I am. I'm literally, it's almost a borderline obsession. I'm getting a little bit worried for myself, but if you guys have any more makeup tutorial requests or just general video requests for me to do, any tags, any stuff like that, definitely leave them down in the comments, but until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.